Chief, yeah. you like to see some magic? You see, in the beginning, when God created man, Adam could go to God, and he could just talk with God in the garden. He could say, how are you, God? And God was there in the garden, and he could also talk with Adam. He could even speak Tagalog. Come to Kana. Adam would say, Mabuti, are you slung? Yeah, I'm fine. No problem. And they always had a beautiful relationship. But the problem is, there was also the devil. And the devil said, do we really need to trust God? Do we really need to follow what he says? I think we can just more or less walk our own way. This beautiful relationship broke. Can somebody please take the scissor? And we see what happens. It just cut, okay. Hamburg is a big harbor city with 20 to 30 container ships or freight ships entering daily into Hamburg. And every year there are tens of thousands of sailors that walk through the harbor. You're really able to enter many ships and it is unbelievably fun to meet these people. This is the boat report that arrives every morning via email. And here I can see exactly which ships arrived in the Hamburg harbor. The time is noted, the name of the ship, the flag of the ship, and the dock spot of the ship. So I can see exactly where the ships are located and which nationalities are represented on these ships. I actually wanted to become a banker but I didn't pass the oral exam. Then I worked as a marine merchant, and through working in the shipyard, an interest grew in me to do more for sailors. For the sailors that I met on the ships through my work. To help these sailors. A sailor has a very difficult life. Usually the sailor is away from home for nine months. Often he's together with different nationalities, so he might not even be able to communicate properly. On cruise ships, for example, there are oftentimes up to 60 or 70 different nationalities. You can imagine that it's not easy for the sailor to set foot there, to find fellowship and to feel comfortable. That's the beautiful thing. Sailors enjoy it when we visit them. The first time was very fascinating. We entered the first ship, we just picked one of the ships, and I actually still remember the name of the ship, Epimelia. And then we sat down at the tables with people, we talked with them about Jesus, we gave them a flyer that they could read, and that was fascinating. Also to see the openness of the sailors, how they simply listened, how they talked with us. And it also really moved my wife and me as they left the harbor. And we thought, now they sail out to the open ocean and they are lonely on the ocean. Who will encounter them there? Oh, that was difficult. Sailors are usually very, very open for conversation. They like to talk with us about faith, even if it's sometimes controversial, that doesn't matter. But they are very interested to talk with us about things that concern faith. And actually they really love that we even pray for them. That we take their concerns seriously and that we are really there for them. We not only want to give them the gospel and say, eat or die, but we also want to help them in very practical ways so they can see the love of God in our lives. Just cut, okay? See? Adam, 
and God separated. And they tried to repair the relationship, you see? Like on the ship, you have a lot of repairs. Adam tries to come back to God, but you see what happens? He cannot come to God. And the Bible calls this sin. The moment you ask Jesus Christ, please forgive my sin, please come into my heart, you will change your life. And your life will be connected again. And your sin is taken away. Because He's the only way to God. We don't preach religion. We want to share about a person who has truly lived this world and who is still living, who is acting, who can change our life, and who wants to change your life as well. He loves you so much. Thank you very, very much for listening so patiently. Maraming, maraming salamat. You're a very kind crew. So thank you for holding this rope. <laughs> you don't want to lose it. <laughs> you want to keep this good relationship, right? Yeah. That's very good. <laughs> Great. <laughs>